Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by today and watching our video. Uh, my name is Gary from WorldStart.com and uh, today I have a reader question and uh, it's, it's a pretty good one. This is uh, pertaining to Windows 7. Uh, Cheryl wrote in and asked, uh, Windows Explorer now opens to the My Documents folder instead of Libraries. Can you tell me how to put it back to Libraries again? Well Cheryl, sure, yeah, we can show you how to do that and actually this reminded me of some really cool features that you can do here with Windows 7. It's a, it's a nice trick. So I'm going to elaborate on it a little bit. I'll show you how to fix your problem, but then show you some of the features that can be done with uh, what, what you're seeing here as, as a problem. So um, let's go ahead and turn to the computer now since it doesn't really help a whole lot for me to stand here and talk. It's easier just to see what I'm doing. Okay, so here we are on the computer at the desktop. And uh, what we're talking about here and what, what Cheryl had asked is uh, she was saying that when she clicked on the uh, taskbar icon down here, it would open her My Documents folder. This is uh, the icon I'm talking about. It's uh, pinned to the taskbar here and it's for Windows Explorer. So if I click on this, you'll see that it, it opens up My Documents. I, I went ahead and started out earlier by recreating Cheryl's problem here so I can show you how to fix it. Um, generally, when you click on that icon, it'll open up the Libraries folder, which allows you to click and go to other things. So uh, what's happened is something's been changed on this uh, taskbar icon down here to make it so it opens my documents instead of libraries. So let me show you how to fix this. Um, the simplest way to do it, and this will work for some of you, is to right click on this icon and unpin it from the taskbar, and then go to start, go to all programs, go to accessories, and then right click on Windows Explorer and choose pin to taskbar, and that'll put it back. Now, if you haven't had anything changed on your system, that will fix the problem. When you click on it, it'll open up libraries. Now, I know for sure on this one it's not going to. When I click on this, it's going to still open my documents. So let me show you the additional features here that I was talking about. We'll go ahead and close this again. Now, what we want to do is the same thing as before. We're going to right-click on this, and we're going to unpin it, first of all. Now, we'll go to Start, go to All Programs, go to Accessories, and this time we're going to right-click on Windows Explorer and choose Properties. Here on the Properties uh, window, we're going to choose the Shortcut tab. If that's not already what's selected, just choose, click on Shortcut. And you can see with this shortcut here, it says Target. And there's, there's the percentage sign, WinDIR percentage sign, and then slash Explorer.exe, and then a space, and then a forward slash, and then My Documents. Now this is what tells Internet or Windows Explorer to open the My Documents folder when you click on it. So in order to fix Cheryl's problem, we're going to go in right here and just remove that so it, so it only says this information here with Windows Ex, or with Explorer.exe at the end. So I'll go ahead and apply that and hit OK. Now let me show you that it works here. We'll go back to all programs, back to accessories, right click on Windows Explorer, choose to pin it to the taskbar. And now when I click on this you'll see that it opens libraries, which is what you would expect and what comes with Windows when you load it uh, for the first time. But that just goes to show you that this is a really cool feature. Let's say you want it to open My Documents or you want it to open Downloads or something when you click on that link. It's a, it, to make that happen, all you have to do is go to All Programs and then we'll go back to Accessories and we will go back to Windows Explorer, right click on it, go to Properties and then right here at the end we'll hit Space forward slash My Documents or you can type in any folder name that you want to open and uh, go ahead and hit apply and hit OK and uh, then you'll see that when I go to all programs and, and go back to accessories again and click on Windows Explorer we're back to where we were opening the My Documents folder. That's the gist of it. It's a really cool feature if you want to you know, get yourself somewhere quickly you can, you can you know, set this up so it opens anywhere you want. All right, so that's about it for that tip. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that, and it was, uh, you know, show you an easy way to, uh, maybe a new way to navigate in, uh, in Windows 7. Um, this also works for other versions of Windows, but you can't pin things to the taskbar with other versions of Windows, but you can still use the same commands on uh, Windows Explorer. So, uh, you know, I want to thank uh, Cheryl for writing this in and, and letting us answer this. If, if you have any questions for us and you want us to answer them here in the newsletter or on video, you can go to www.worldstart.com slash ask and, uh, and ask away. Um, if you're not subscribed to our newsletter and, and you want to get our tips like this every day in your email, just go to worldstart.com and you'll see the sign-up form uh, right there on the page. Thanks for stopping by.